had to meet him at our first reading, and we were sitting like this at a round table, uh, reading the script, and he was so generous that he just suddenly grabbed my arm and looked me into the eyes and said some of the lines, inviting me in, uh, you know, showing me that we were together in this game, and uh, it really helped me a lot. So I relaxed completely, and, and I just realized how wonderful a man he is. It was, uh, it was nerve-wracking for me, and also knowing that I was going into an arena of actors who are very much an ensemble. I mean, the Copenhagen is a, is a small town in many respects, and all these men and women have known each other, they've grown up together, and it was just a, a wonderful, warm embrace. I was welcomed in, and so you just revel in that, and it was, it was a mighty day, I'll never forget it, because I was terrified. And the girls went out for a cigarette. I saw you and Paprika having a cigarette. Went, None of us really smoked, but maybe <laughs> they they the cigarettes. <laughs> so we all kind of gathered around a packet of cigarettes and you, know, and you set forth. Because it's always terrifying, you know? It's yeah. always, it's just constant constructing and destroying. It was, it was, it was accelerating every day to work in that style of filmmaking. And it was so liberating not to have the conventional master two shot over the shoulder single, yes, single. Yes, you use and moving camera all so the time. Constantly, Handheld. always relationship with the camera. So the camera would be, you never knew where it was going to go. If she would talk and you'd start the scene Yeah, and, and, and some of the big scenes are almost like doing theatre. You, you don't know if yeah. you're actually in the picture or not. <laughs> so you just have to stay in character all the time. Mm -hmm. say yes. I mean, this script touched my heart, and it was, uh, I was acutely aware of the similarities of uh, my life and this man's life. How could I not be? I know something of, of, of um, losing a wife and being a father, being a single parent. Um, so, you know, if not now, when? It is quite close to me as well, I must say. I have family and close friends that have experienced cancer as well. So I, I think a lot of people uh, are touched by that subject. Uh, and uh, of course, when you share something as actors and if, when you play together, you always play with the respect. And you, uh, I mean, I, I just try to portrait this lady as good as I could do. and. Uh, it is not a movie about cancer, but it is also about that. No, 60 is significant. 60 is definitely, uh, uh, it's, uh, it, it has a ring to it. It's nothing but gratitude for coming down the road so far, still having a career, and uh, to be... Gorgeous, still yes. gorgeous as exactly. ever. <laughs> Long may it last, that's all I can say. Well, last year, my wife Keely and I, we, had, we, we just finished our house, so we had a huge housewarming party and a 59th birthday party. So this time, I think we're just going to go up to Northern California, quiet weekend, ask her if she'll marry me again. Oh. 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 And, uh, Still got it. Uh, I've already worked that one on her as well, so I'm not saying anything. But no, just the two of us, really. And um, that's it. Oh, I, I think the Matador was probably one of those. My wife was a little concerned when I got back to Mexico City. <laughs> when I still had the gold chain around my neck. <laughs> you know. That was it really. But I I I you know, my kind of acting is not really like the Daniel Day Lewis school of acting where he goes so deeply into it. I like to be able to maintain my own sanity and not to say that Daniel is is otherwise, but uh, I, uh, it's a different style of acting. So not really. They do live with you. I mean, they do. You have a resonance. This character was so much me, really. This character is me within the piece. I think we need love. It's, and love is many different things, as you can see in this film. I, I love the message in the end that it's, it's not how many years you get, it's what you get out of those years.
I think it's an essential part of our existence as human beings. Of course it is. Without it, where would we be? Uh, uh, I think love and only love. There's so little of it. Uh, when you look at the news and you read the news of the world, there seems to be just a, a kind of devastation and shaming within our societies and brutality within uh, the respect of each other's countries and religions. So, yes. James, you were personally touched by... James? By, uh, I'm sorry. Where am I? <laughs> I can only do so much. It's <laughs> all right. Anyway. James Brosnan. And it's James. Yeah. Daniel. Why no. did I say James? Have you ever played a James? James Bond. James Bond. There you go. Anyway.